Hello, I'm really pleased to welcome you to Caffrey's beautiful Greenmount campus, which is only 20 miles from Belfast and halfway between the historic town of Antrim and Belfast International Airport. I'm standing outside this very impressive manor house, which opened its doors to its first students in 1912. It has grown considerably since then, with over 1,000 students now studying a range of courses in agriculture, horticulture, floristry, land-based engineering and veterinary nursing. Greenmount really has superb facilities. This combined with staff that have a very close association with the agri-food industry has led to Greenmount having an internationally recognised reputation for excellence. In fact, many of the leaders in the agri-food industry today have passed through these doors and accredit Greenmount for their success. But perhaps more importantly, it wasn't just the learning they remember, but the lifelong friends and crack they had while they were students here. And that hasn't changed. The campus is still buzzing and there is a real sense of community spirit here which people will remember long after they graduate. It is a beautiful place to study with a lot of investment in teaching and learning resources and it doesn't stop there. Over the next number of years there will be even more investment in new staff and student accommodation and science facilities. Greenmount really is the place to be and has lots to offer so welcome and I hope you enjoy our virtual tour. Hello, my name is Paul Mooney. I'm a head of horticulture based here at Greenmount Campus just outside Antrim Town in Northern Ireland. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to our floristry virtual open day event for 2020. Now, more normally at this time of year, we'd welcome people who are interested in floristry to the campus to have uh, a look at our great facilities that we use for teaching floristry, to meet some of our very expert staff, and to interact with some of our students, some of whom live here on campus and some who travel in on a daily basis, some of whom are younger and some who are more mature. This is a live event tonight. Um, we're very pleased to, if you could give us a thumbs up on occasions to let us know you're out there. And if you have any questions you want answered, do, do put them online and we'll do our best to get them answered. Who are we? CAFRI stands for the College of Agriculture, Food and Rural Enterprise. It's an integral part of the Department of Agriculture, Environment and Rural Affairs of Northern Ireland. And CAFRI has three campuses. In the west, we've Enniskillen Campus, which deals with matters equine, horses, uh, outside Cookstown we have Lockery Campus which deals with food and here at Greenmount it's agriculture and horticulture and of course horticulture includes the discipline of floristry. So we've been running courses here in floristry for over 20 years um, and what is floristry? Well people are, are familiar with the concept of flower arranging and floristry is so much more than flower arranging. It really is bringing a, a breadth and a commercialism to flower arranging. So a professional florist um, buys in materials in bulk from wholesalers having planned what they need for a particular week to match the displays they're going to do be it weddings or other occasions that they need to prepare for. It's all about running the business, it's about interacting with customers it's about knowing how to care for the flowers and prepare them, all sorts of techniques about putting them together in particular ways uh, and maintaining them. So professional floristry is, is, is that. It is, it is adding commercialism and breadth to flower arranging. So, but let's not forget, it's about artistic design as well, creating wonderful displays using flower materials, foliage and other sundries. So I'm going to now introduce a colleague, Laurie Hartman, who's sitting on my right-hand side. Laurie is Senior Lecturer in Horticulture, um, and Laurie has responsibility for our floristry programmes. Laurie, maybe you'd start by just introducing yourself and maybe explain if you've had any interactions with floristry in your career to date. Well, Paul, I grew up in Virginia in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and I studied horticulture at a school called Virginia Tech. Um, and part of my studies there uh, was a program called Floriculture, which is where you're growing uh, a flower crop to become cut flower products. Uh, so added to that, kind of an added value element, was um, the opportunity to study floral design um, and, and looking at how we take those cut flower crops and, and what you can make them into. So learning a little bit about conditioning, about different designs, about sort of the, the principles of design for floristry, your color, texture, 
um, form, that sort of thing. So it was um, really interesting to me to see that sort of full circle of, of growing something and then what that product can become um, in the floristry industry. Mm. Okay, very interesting. So but part of a horticulture program, floristry there, a glimpse of floristry. Mm. And of course, some of our florists would actually be growing maybe plant materials, where, whether it's foliage or flowers, that they will use in their shops. Uh, growing at home to supplement what they buy in. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us a little bit about the cor courses we offer, Laurie. Um, well, in floristry we've got, um, they're both further education courses, so usually that's sort of a pathway following GCSEs and it's a more vocational route. So uh, the two courses we have are a level two floristry and a level three floristry. Um, they're both full-time courses and they're both one year. Now, having said that, um, and yes, they are two distinct qualifications, we often ask people to look at them as a two-year program because they do go hand in hand, and the level two um, leads naturally onto the level three to develop a well-rounded florist. So at level two, um, it's really an introduction to floristry. So students are getting the basics, they're getting um, customer service experience, they're learning the different design methods, but they're also sort of embedding those techniques so that when they move on to level three and they're asked to make a particular hand tie arrangement, they already know what that means and they can therefore make the arrangement and then start to add their own sort of floral style to mm. that. So at level three, it's, um, they're just developing more. They're bringing in that business element that you were talking about. Um, they're also looking at sort of specific methods of arrangement like tied designs, wired, glued, um, and using a medium. So it's just sort of bringing it all together to develop a professional florist. Okay, and I, I suppose commercial speed is very, very important. It's, it's that fluency yes. uh, of, all of the movements to build up the various pieces. Um, what's a typical week look like in, in, a, in a floristry class? Well, uh, our weeks are, um, for level two, students are here three days a week, um, and that starts off with Mondays when the flowers come in from the wholesalers, and they come in these great big boxes, and mm -hmm. they bring them in, and they have to get them conditioned, and that's preparing the flowers for the week. So they go, um, they get taken out of the plastic wrap and put into buckets of water and divvied up for each student to use. Um, and then from there on, it goes on to different uh, units that they're studying, There'll be a mixture of theory, um, but largely practical work when they're here on campus. And for, for both level two and level three students, they also have time each week in their placement provider, which we'll talk about more as we go through the evening. Okay, that, that's interesting. Um, what are the fees, are other fees for studying floristry? Um, not, if, not for further education, no. So there's no course fees. However, um, there are sort of tools and equipment that students need to get as part of the course. Okay. And again, if one wants to make an application to the floristry course, the information is on the website? Yes, it's all there on the website. Um, they, they can apply through the website, and of course, if they have any questions, they can um, shoot an email across and we'll help them out. Okay, so uh, at this point, we're moving um, to a little piece with one of the floristry lecturers, Sherry Suet, um, and level two student, um, Emma McCurry, to tell us a little bit about Emma's experience on the program so far. I'd like to introduce you to Emma McCurry. Emma is a current level two floristry student. Emma, tell us how you became interested in floristry. Yeah, so when I was younger, um, my nanny, I saw my nanny make um, arrangements in her kitchen and I was very interested of where she was putting the flowers and how she was actually making the arrangement. So um, I decided to take a part-time job after school um, in my local flower shop. And then um, after GCSEs, I took a full year out and worked in the same flower shop. Okay. And um, how did you decide to um, come to Caffrey to study? Um, so a past student told me about Caffrey and um, I decided to apply and went for the interview and hope for the best. And yep, and you were successful and you're yeah. here with us at the moment. Now we're just over halfway through first semester. Tell us a little bit of of how the floristry course is, is uh, running, um, any highlights you have of the course and things that you're enjoying the most? Yeah, um, I'm enjoying making like the arrangements and the uh, bouquets um, and uh, learning about the flowers and the flower names and um, when they're in season and the Latin names as well. And also um, I enjoy placement um, once a week. 
and you're in with the shop that you was with when you were doing yeah. your year out at school. So that's really good. So they've been supportive right the way from you being just at one day a week um, after school and then right the way through um, joining yeah. us at Caffrey. Um, I know you live in, so can you tell us also what it's like living in, living away from home and, and being on campus? Yeah. Um, I enjoy living on campus um, and meeting new people um, and making new friends from different courses like the agriculture ones and stuff um, and also they do activities at night um, on a Tuesday there's a cooking club um, and up in the cyber cafe so we go up there and um, introduce ourselves to new people and learn how to make food. <laughs> <laughs> learn a few cookery skills to take back home when you go home for a weekend that's excellent yeah. and um, once the level two course is complete um, what would you like to do after that? Um, I would like to do the level three course at Caffrey um, and then maybe after that uh, I would like to maybe start up my own business. Okay so that's something to look forward to in the future yeah. and you mentioned at the beginning that you loved watching your nan um, as a young girl you know making arrangements. Yeah. What does your nan think when you take your designs home? Do you show them to her? Yeah she loves it. <laughs> she loves it. Does she give you any tips as well? Yeah. Good <laughs> that's excellent Emma thank you very much for, for speaking with us. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. So that's Emma's story. Um, obviously developed a, an interest in floristry at an early age from her granny um, throughout her GCSEs doing a bit of Saturday work uh, and then took a full year out to work in, in a floristry shop. Laurie, would it be unusual for somebody who, who does that to come and then come on the Level 2 programme? Uh, well, you know, it really depends on what kind of experience they've had, Paul. Um, we really have to stress that Entry level roles in a floristry shop vary from shop to shop and the purpose of gaining work experience is that students have an understanding of what professional floristry is before they come and take on the course because floristry is a wonderful profession but it's also long hours, it can be cold work, um, you're dealing with lots of different people and so it's important that the students understand that before they come on the course. And the, hence the importance of, of work experience and, and normally you'd ask for somebody coming on the course 40 hours, is that right? That's right, coming on to level two um, we look for a minimum of 40 hours work experience before starting the course so if somebody's able to get more than that that's absolutely brilliant. Somebody like Emma will really benefit from that additional experience. Okay, uh, and the other qualifications you need to, to go on the programs level two and level three? Uh, at level two, um, well, it, it's all on the website to begin with, but also at level two, uh, we're looking for the 40 hours. They need to uh, have a work placement provider set up before they start the course for their weekly placement. And then also two GCSEs at grade C. Um, and we're, we're really looking for English and maths there. It's, okay. it's very important. Um, will we help people find work placement providers? Uh, to a certain extent, if, if people are struggling, we can try to help. We have a lot of industry links, but we do, you know, that's part of the process as well. The students need to do a bit of investigation and, and look for a shop to work in. It's a partnership, in. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Um, okay, so uh, at this point, we're going to join Anne-Marie Grant, who's going to take us on a virtual tour of the floristry facilities here at Greenmount. Hi, everyone. My name is Anne-Marie Grant and I'm one of the floristry lecturing team here at Greenmount Campus. I studied both horticulture and floristry at Caffrey and have been involved in the Caffrey floristry program since we welcomed our first cohort of students in 1999. The floristry studio was set within the beautiful surroundings of the Victorian Walled Garden at Greenmount Campus. The floristry facilities are set up to replicate a flower shop and when you enter the studio there is a shop front and doorway where we showcase students floral designs, have our flower fridge and a sales counter. The students use this space throughout the year to create window displays, package designs, showcase their work and also practice their customer service skills which are so important. The two dedicated classrooms reflect the typical back of house where all the floristry skills are practiced and perfected. In the classroom students work at raised benches and have access to a full range of flowers, sundries and floristry tools. More recently, the college invested in a plant studio as a more versatile shop space. Floristry students not only learn about cut flowers and foliages, but also about indoor plants, which are now becoming a vital aspect of many floristry businesses. 
In recent months, many shops have diversified slightly and now stock a much wider range of unusual plants and are using them for more diverse corporate work and to promote a healthy working environment in office spaces. We also take advantage of our links with the Horticulture Programme, sourcing flowers, foliage and plants grown in the Horticulture Centre by students for use in our classes. By working closely with the floristry industry, we ensure that our graduates meet the high standards the industry demands. A vital part of both programmes is weekly work experience, which allows students to experience the reality of working in a commercial florist shop. Every year we try to broaden students' knowledge with demonstrations and workshops by famous demonstrators from all over the world. These opportunities allow students to learn, practice, develop and stretch their creativity in a supportive environment and can lead to worldwide travel and employment. I hope you have enjoyed this virtual tour of our forestry facilities and I look forward to you joining this exciting and creative course next September. So, thanks Anne-Marie for the virtual tour of the floristry facilities. And as you can see, they, they are they're really great. And actually, they're some of the best in the UK at the moment. Um, so students learn a great deal in the floristry studios by practicing techniques and so on. But Laurie, students also benefit from other experiences they have when they're with us. Would you like to elaborate on that? Yes, uh, Paul, I had already mentioned sort of the, the pre-course work experience, but Additionally, um, students have to find a placement provider. So for both level two and level three, um, they are in a shop at least one day a week, one day at level two, two days at level three. Um, and that's really, really important because then they get to see sort of the peaks of the seasons uh, and, and the full process of fulfilling orders in a professional shop and how what they're learning at Caffrey really you know, plays out in the real world. Yeah, uh, and we have some really strong links with those floristry shops, and actually some of them would be run by ex-students. That's right, um, and also, you know, the, the industry links we have um, are not just the, the local shops here in Northern Ireland, but we're also, um, CAFRI are members of the British Florist Association, um, and they're actually the industry partner for something called World Skills UK. And for those that haven't heard of that before, World Skills is like the Olympics of the skills trades. Um, and Caffrey participates in floristry, and, and actually this year we have a florist who is uh, competing for a place on Squad UK, which potentially means she could go to Shanghai in 2022 to compete as a florist representing Caffrey and Northern Ireland, so it's it's a huge deal. And the UK, I yes. think. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the squad is a small team of people, and one of them will be selected to compete in China. That's really exciting. Um, and outside of that, I mean, students do compete in other competitions like Chelsea? That's right. Um, and I think we recently highlighted that on our Facebook page showing uh, the, the, the winners from many years back. And um, that's been an ongoing competition for the last sort of 10 or 12 years. Yeah, fantastic. And some of those pieces are really, really wonderful. OK, um, at this point, I'm going to introduce uh, our student, William Henry, is going to introduce and take us on a little bit of a tour of the residential and other facilities around the campus here at Greenmount. My name is William Hendry and I'm a first year student here in the Foundation Degree in Agriculture and Technology course. I would like to show you around and let you see what's on offer for students who choose to live on campus. The under 18 students live in either Boyd or Fulton Hall. The bedrooms in Boyd Hall are en suite and are cosy and comfortable while Fulton Hall has a single study bedrooms which are shared bathroom facilities for a small number of students. The over 18 students stay in the self-catering accommodation in the student village, either in one of the bungalows or a lodge. Around 12 students live in each of the lodges and three in each of the bungalows. The bedrooms in the lodges are all en suite and there is a shared kitchen, sitting room, laundry facilities. Every evening, students living in campus accommodation are looked after by the residential support team. These staff with the Student Representative Council arrange activities for the students like going to the cinema, ice skating, various sporting activities or outings to Belfast. There is a gym in Greenmount Resource Centre and Sports Hall as well. The residential support team also look after the safety and security of students 
when they are on site. The main place to eat in campus is the Manor Restaurant which is open throughout the day from 8 in the morning to 6 at night and provides a great range of meals. The Cyber Cafe which is in the Greenmount Resource Centre also offers snacks and drinks from 10 in the morning so there's absolutely no excuse for anybody to go hungry. Most under 18 students have a cater card which their parents or guardians preload with money so you don't have to carry cash about which is very handy. One of the main places on campus for classes and recreation is the Greenmount Resource Centre or as we call it, the GRC. This is where most of the classrooms, lecture theatres and IT suites are. The Student Services Manager Leslie Ann's office is here too and she can help with any queries or issues you may have. Also, this is where some of the residential support team are found in the evenings. The Cyber Cafe is also located in the GRC and serves food, which is also the main social hub for students to hang out. There's TVs, pool tables, football, as well as table tennis and computers to play games on. The core to any college is the library and I have to say, all the students love the newly refurbished library here at Greenmount. It has a great selection of relevant journals and books as well as an extensive collection of e-learning materials. The library is also a great place to study if you want just a bit of peace and quiet. Greenmount is only three miles away from the town of Antrim. It has everything you will need in terms of shopping, cafes, restaurants and entertainment and it is also around 30 minutes from Belfast. When you live on campus, it is so easy to make friends and there is a real sense of community. Living away from home has made me much more independent and I love the freedom of doing my own thing. I hope you enjoyed the tour and maybe I will see you here next year. So, welcome back. Um, so William has given us a, a glimpse of the wider campus, the residential facilities, the dining hall, the library, etc. Um, and of course we have um, a large number of bedrooms here on site, about 200 bedrooms. Um, very competitively priced. Laurie, do many florists choose to reside on campus? Yes, especially the younger students, sort of the, the late teens and early 20s. Um, I think as Emma mentioned earlier, it just is a great opportunity for them to get to know people on other courses. Um, so yeah, it's a great option for the students. And especially they're here three or four days as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, and getting to the campus, if you had to travel, uh, is yeah. it public transport? There is, yes. If people don't drive, um, we have a TransLink bus that links from the Antrim station um, here to Greenmount and the airport, and that's sort of the loop it does. Um, so if people are traveling, say, from Belfast, they can get the train to Antrim and then a bus here to campus, and it, it operates twice a day. Okay, thank you. Okay, at, at this point, um, Sherry Seward, lecturer in floristry again, is going to take us uh, on a, a wee journey with Chloe Morrison, who's a graduate of Caffrey here, um, and tell us a little bit about Chloe's story. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Chloe. Chloe, who was a, a floristry student here at Caffrey um, from 2012 to 2015. Um, Chloe studied both the Level 2 and the Level 3. Um, Chloe, can you t um, tell us a little bit of the benefits that you found doing both levels of floristry here with us? Yes, Sherry. So I studied both level two and level three floristry. So I found with level two, it was more the foundation course. So it was just finding out new techniques, just finding out about everything about floristry. Um, learning new techniques, your styles, um, styles in floristry. And then as I found as I progressed onto level three, it was more highly experienced. You sort of found out how what kind of florist you are. Um, it was more experienced. It was new New, new styles like doing your event work and um, there's a wee bit more paperwork sort of with it but other than that I really enjoyed both my both my courses at Green Mount. And over the past several years since leaving Caffrey you've your career really has gone from strength to strength tell us a wee bit about um, your path um, and when you left Caffrey what did where did you go what did you do? 
So I actually done my work experience at F and Co Flowers in Ballymena. So I did both my work experience for level two and level three there. I then got kept on um, for a full time florist job there. So it was quite a busy florist um, as we had a lot of contract work with local hotels. So it was quite a lot of weddings, contract work. Um, so it kept, it was a really busy florist. Um, within there, I learned new styles, new techniques, as there was quite a lot of different florists there. So you were able to pick up different bits and pieces from everybody. Um, I grew more confidence within myself. Um, I learned the other side of floristry. So I took on a more, as I was there, I progressed into a managerial role. So I took on more, more sort of ordering. I did worked a lot with wholesalers and um, done a lot of stock tech. So that grew my confidence to then proceed on to going on to my own business then. So you've just mentioned you've now got your own business. Um, tell us a little bit about your journey into setting up your own business once you left um, the shop. So after working in a busy florist for five years, I then went through the Go For, Go For It programme, which was run through my local council. So I met up with um, an advisor there. So we actually sat, um, I think it was on for about four weeks um, and we went through everything. So your profit, what you can make in a year, the other side of it too, what you can lose in the year. And um, so he did my business plan for me. So within then I did realise it was possible and you can do it if you believe in yourself. So from then that's how I learned how what what way it can go so then that's how I progressed onto my own business and how long have you when did you set your business up Chloe I set my business up two years past in June so at Petal Lane Floral Boutique in Balamone so it's now been established for two years which I can't believe it's just something <laughs> yes. um there I do a lot of um wedding work we do all occasions so we focus on weddings and um, we do birthdays anniversaries all the main busy peak periods of the year so Christmas Mother's Day Valentine's Day so it's always a busy job and when you're doing it for yourself it's just so much more enjoyable uh -huh. and I believe you have a placement with you at the moment we have one of my current students tell us a little, wee little bit about um why you decided to take on a placement this year Yes, so um, Jessica is a current student now in level two. She had contacted me back in the end of August, September um, to go on to do her placement with myself. So I knew exactly how she felt um, going on. Like, you you know, when you're trying to apply for somewhere, you don't know if someone will take you because you don't really have any experience. So I took on Jessica um, and she's been with me now for three months. And um, so it's always lovely because I know I know what it's like to be in her shoes. And it's always so lovely to like, you know, do everything everything that I used to do so she knows different sides of floristry different from being in the college and being in the shop so it's it's been lovely to undertake somebody that is a current student and I'm really glad you take Jessica on and it's really good to actually have past students take on current students because it's nice to keep that bond going and that link with the industry yeah. thank you very much Chloe and wish you every success in the future thank you for speaking with us today thank you Sherry Welcome back. So that's Chloe's story uh, from GCSEs, level two, one day a week work experience, moved on, progressed to the level three, couple more days work experience, qualifies from level three, works with an employer for another year or two, builds up the confidence and skills and then sets up her own business. Uh, tremendous achievement uh, for one so young. Um, Laurie, what about the career prospects? Do, do many students set up own businesses or what, what happens to the majority of students? Well, we have really good um, prospects from Caffrey. There's about 95% students go on to employment from floristry. Um, and that can be similar to Chloe going into the shop where they've been doing experience. Um, some do go on to start their own businesses and that really just depends on what kind of experience they've had to date. Yeah, and of course those businesses sometimes vary. They're, they can specialize in particular yeah, even from flower shop to flower shop, people will have different focuses. Some people go off and, and uh, focus on events like weddings or, or other events. Um, and now we're kind of also seeing people get into more like indoor, in interior displays, that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. there's a wide mix there. And we have one or two high achievers amongst our alumni, I think. Yes, a few, even uh, some of the high-end florists in London come from Caffrey. So Excellent. You can go anywhere. Excellent. Okay, just, just to roll back a wee bit, the courses, they start in September as normal? Yeah, we follow sort of your typical academic year. So starting in September, 
Um, and we have breaks, you know, at midterm and Christmas, and then again in February and Easter, okay. and finishing around mid-May. And applications are open at the moment? They are, yeah. Okay. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that really concludes uh, our virtual open evening for Floristry tonight. Thank you for attending. Floristry is a wonderful, uh, colourful, exciting career. Um, ideal for somebody who's artistic and yet has a head for business. Um, Caffrey is a really good place to study. We've great facilities, we've expert staff. Um, there's no fees for the programmes. The accommodation is reasonably priced. It's quite easy to get here. Good public transport links. If you've any further questions or queries, please feel free to contact any one of the tutors, Anne-Marie, Sherry Suet, or Laurie Hartman. We'll be happy to answer those queries. Uh, alternatively, put in an application and we can organise a careers advisory uh, interview. Um, and that's very individual and personalised and will give so you some advice. So with that, um, I hope to see you at some stage again on the campus here at Greenmount. Good night. Stay safe. <laughs>